Today I want to talk about a very important topic and that is how to understand and appraise our literature. Now this particular paper made the rounds on social media and this one talks about, it's a very interesting paper, it has huge scope because it talks about the restoration longevity in England and Wales part 10, so there are nine other parts before this and this is key findings from a 10 million restoration data set. So obviously this is going to have something or some very interesting conclusions. Well, some of those conclusions were that essentially if you had a crown, the time to redoing that crown is going to be longer than if you did a filling and you have to redo that filling. So that's called the time to an intervention or time to a re-intervention. However, they also concluded that the time to extraction of a crown tooth is going to be sooner than the time to extraction of a filled tooth. Now, these are interesting conclusions. One more interesting conclusion is they said that the more a patient spends on a tooth, the less likely it's going to survive in the long term. So if the patient has spent less, essentially implying that if you're doing a filling which is cheaper than a crown, your tooth is going to last longer. Now, you may look at these findings and be surprised and you may even be tempted to come to the conclusion that, you know, fillings are better than crowns. So what exactly is going on here? Well, first we need to remember that this is a retrospective study. It's among a large number of dentists, a huge number of patients, and it's a study which is being done after everything's done. It's not prospective or forward-looking, it's retrospective. So that automatically lowers the level of evidence. But more important here, and the fact that not many people are talking about this is surprising, is the fact that a tooth which requires a crown usually starts off in a worse place or with more damage than a tooth which requires just a filling. Think about you in your practice. If a patient walks in with a tiny little hole on the tooth, you are not going to advise a crown. You're just going to advise a filling. Versus if a patient walks in with massive damage to the tooth, you may be suggesting a root canal, you may be suggesting a crown, and that means that the starting point of these teeth is vastly different. So it is not surprising that when you look at a retrospective study, looking at all the data from the past, even though it's 10 million restorations, you would still come to this conclusion that crowns would not last as long as a filling because that starting point is very different. So this is something very important to realize when you read retrospective studies and in general when you look at the literature, you must learn how to critically appraise it so that you don't misread the literature. I hope I've confused you enough. This is the Dental Review Guy signing off with a smile.